All right, last time we made impressively little progress, and I was wondering, this time, can we make even less? No, don't worry, we're actually going to play this time, I hope. Uh, Sir Smoke says, thank you for believing in me, knowing that I was a spy. So we tried not to. This is the final, final farewell. Big jumps. Be strong, Sir Smokes. Indeed. She told me to be strong. I feel so happy. Ow! Your smokes are a bit clumsy. What happened? I can still move more. I always appreciate hopping as a way of moving. It's not like spinning like we saw in that play we took part of, but hopping is maybe the second best method of transportation. This must be it. The ancients sure did a great job making this. I can protect the planet too. Kind of embarrassed. There's plenty of stuffed toys like my body around. There's only one me. Don't forget me, even if another Sir Smokes comes along. Even if they're rather greater? Mm. This scene is. Goodbye then. I guess I'm off to save the planet. This scene is so evidently like. It does the like faded out camera, right? For like the big dramatic moments, or Smokes gets all these, or Kate Sith gets all these lines here. It's even made clear there's gonna be another Kate Sith. This isn't like an actual death of a party member, and yet it's drawn out. They get like, you know, a moment with Cloud and Eris and sort of Tifa. It's this really exaggerated, strange scene to give a character that has generally been not very likable betrayed us isn't actually dying right <laughs> um and i'm gonna come back to talking about this scene later because i actually think it is a good and important scene but i think that's because of um developments that come later so important scene for for sir smokes here Kate Sith. But a very strange one, a very like overwrought, overwritten scene. That's the Black Materia. I'll wait here. Um, now, we can't blame Tifa for waiting here because this is one of those scenes where they know Cloud and Eris are involved and whoever your third character is waits there. So we shouldn't judge our third character for, you know, anything they do in a scene like that. As long as we have this, Sephiroth won't be able to use Meteor. Got key item, Black Materia, exclamation mark, in the title, hmm? Can you guys use it? Nope, we can't use it right away. You need great spiritual power to use it. You mean lots of spiritual energy? That's right. One person's power alone won't do it. Somewhere special, where there's plenty of the planet's energy. Oh yeah, the promised land. The promised land. Ah, so now we have why Sephiroth seeks the promised land. Because he wants to get super life stream energy, but to get to that, he has to get enough energy to summon Meteor, and to have that much energy, he needs the promised land. So it is a tool. And I like how it's sort of been the, um, the goal of the story in large part so far, and you have characters who do see it as the end goal, right? Eventually, the Ancients should return to the Promised Land. It is sort of a goal for Eris, eventually. And also, the Shinra see it as the goal, the thing to exploit. But Sephiroth sees it as a use for something else. No, but... Sephiroth is different. He's not an Ancient. He shouldn't be able to find the Promised Land. Ah, but I have. 
I'm far superior to the ancients. I became a traveler of the life stream and gained the knowledge and wisdom of the ancients. I also gained the knowledge and wisdom of those after the extinction of the ancients. And soon I will create the future. I won't let you do it. The future is not only yours. Ha ha ha, I wonder. Wake up. Sh shut up. Oh, that's Kid Cloud. The noise. There, Cloud. Good boy. What? No. Don't be afraid. I can control Little Cloud. But I can't control Big Cloud. No! Don't be afraid. Gave Black Materia to Sephiroth. So clearly in this scene, we're watching ourselves, our physical body, do something as we are something else, right? We are... We're specifically taking the form of Kid Cloud, but it's showing us as someone... As, as still Cloud, right? We're still watching what Cloud's body does as Cloud, but we are watching Cloud from a previous time. I think that's important. Well done. Cloud clutching his head down there. Cloud, are you all right? I gave the black materia to Sephiroth. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have had Cloud handling the black materia, given the whole, uh, him going kind of nutso in the chamber earlier. What? What did I do? Tell me, Eris. Cloud, be strong, okay? Erg, what have I done? Cloud, you haven't done anything. It's not your fault. <clears throat> I'm... I'm... Cloud. Is he hitting Eris? Looks like he's hitting Eris. We also still see, again, not controlled, right? It's... he's seeing his body doing something. He's not choosing it himself. Also... I see you, Sir Smokes, in the top left. Oops, looks like I came at a bad time. I'm Sir Smokes number two, right pleased to meet you all, he says very foolishly as Cloud is pummeling Eris. Cloud, what are you doing? Thanks, Tifa. Everything is white. What did I do? I don't remember anything. My memory, since when? If everything's a dream, don't wake me. We haven't seen this forest before. It's got one of those lights at the end of it that very much looks like uh, something important. Cloud, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry for what happened. Don't worry about it. I can't help it. Oh. Then why don't you really worry about it? And let me handle Sephiroth. And Cloud, you take care of yourself. So you don't have a breakdown, okay? What is this place? The forest, lead, this forest leads to the city of the ancients and is called the Sleeping Forest. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth uses Meteor. That's why I'm going to protect it. Only a survivor of the Cetra, like me, can do it. The secret is just up here. At least it should be, and feel it. 
feels like I'm being led by something. Then I'll be going now. I'll come back when it's all over. Eris? But he cannot follow where she is going. At least not now. Hmm. She's thinking of interfering. She will be a difficult one, don't you think? We must stop that girl soon. We, he said. We. You look like you was having a nightmare. How are you feeling? Um, Cloud would not admit to being not good. I think Cloud, regardless of how he felt, would be like, I'm fine, right? And I know, I know he's getting better. He's getting less of that. But, like, Cloud throughout the game, his problem has largely been being kind of unaware of the people around him, wanting to seem tough and act tough, right, in a way that is really rude and mean. And in general, not being able to go along with kind of other people's shtick. I think he's very bad at these things, right? He's got this, this social awkwardness that comes out in those ways. And that means he's going to say he's okay, right? That's what you say when you're tough. That's good. Man, I didn't know what was going to happen. You know, Cloud, Eris is gone. Everyone's out looking for Eris. City of the Ancients. Eris is headed there. By herself? Why did she go by herself? Hey, we're going too. Only the Ancients. Only Eris can save us from Meteor. Then we must go. What'll we do if something happens to Eris? If Sephiroth finds her, she's in trouble. Sephiroth already knows. Hey, why are you still sitting around? Let's go, Cloud. No. I might lose it again. If Sephiroth comes near me, I might... Yeah, goddammit, it's because of you that Sephiroth got the black materia in the first place. It's your damn fault. My fault. I know you got problems, hell, we all do, but you don't even understand yourself. You gotta understand that there ain't no getting off of this train we're on till we get to the end of the line. Recursion of a prior setup theme, always well played. Cloud, we came this far. Aren't you going to settle up with Sephiroth? No. I'm afraid. Now, that's a big thing for him to admit. He must feel really broken right now. And that makes a lot of sense, given that he clearly lost some time, and then he handed the destruction of the world to someone who wants to use it. I mean, it makes sense he'd be this messed up, but... I don't think at any point prior in the game, Cloud has admitted something like this. If this keeps up, I may go crazy. I'm afraid. Just a damn jackass. That's what you are. Yo, just think about it. How many people in this world do you think really understand themselves? People get depressed in life because they don't know what's up. Mm, I don't think that's quite right, but okay. But they go on living. They don't run away. Isn't that how it is? Cloud, you'll come with us, right? I believe in you. What am I supposed to do? Pull out of here. Pull out to where? Cloud. Wait a minute, Tifa. Give him a little time. He has to decide this on his own. You believe in Cloud, right? I'm afraid to find out the truth, but why? Well, it might feel really bad for you, you know? You're not... You don't seem like you've, uh, you've been right. Cloud. Hey, how are you? I just want to know, which is it going to be? You want to find out about yourself? You want to find out about yourself, 
or you are, are you afraid to find out? Either way, you stay around here and about all you can do is worry about it. Even if you do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth. If it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky white head and bring you back to normal. Cloud, it'll be alright. We're all with you. But if it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. You're right. He's right, isn't he? This is also, you can see very clearly. One of the reasons I think Cloud ended up the leader, part of it is because kind of everyone wanted him to be. But I think part of it is, despite being like rude and mean, he has often been decisive and taken action, right? And something that happens here is he needs affirmation, right? He's suddenly like, what am I supposed to do? He wants someone to tell him what to do. When they tell him, you got to just take part in this, you got to do it, even though it's scary. He goes, you're right. But then he needs like, he's right, isn't he? Like, tell me, give me things to do, give me things to focus on and be. And I think this is not ridiculously unfair to parallel to somewhere in between Barrett and Dine, because both of them broke after the destruction of Coral. And Dine went, everything's done. All I'm going to do is cause suffering to others, you know, be, be kind of the the tough, horrible person in charge of a prison camp, essentially. And Barrett went, I found Marlene, and there's something to fight for, and now I have purpose. And Cloud's sort of in a, in a middle place, where he's been a bit more of a dime figure, right? He's been a bit more of someone who wants to be the tough guy. The planet's going to die, I don't care about that. And he's been getting much better about that. I'm getting much better. But as he loses that, and as he faces the kind of uncertainty that results of living in a more co complex world, he's not yet there to bear its sense of this has got to be done, we're just doing it. He's at the, I think you're right when you say that, but I have to hear it, right? I have to keep hearing it. Come on, let's go and find Eris. All right, off we go. Not my uh, preferred party, but that's okay. We'll be able to switch into it soon. And we're in Gangaga. So if we had never been to Gangaga, this would be our first time here. Uh, actually, while we're here, oops. I guess they made leaving the town there just a full exit of the area. That's really interesting. Because uh, normally when you leave the town, you are brought to, um, I think, the upcoming map. Yeah, this map. And then you have to leave fully to leave the area. So interesting, they would just skip this part, this one time you're there, that they would set it to exit elsewhere. But I'm going to talk to here, see if they have anything to say. Have you ever met someone in Zoldr named Zach? I can't believe he hasn't caught... All right, so they just have nothing new to say. I just thought there might be an offbeat chance that there would be something new there. Because obviously, it, uh, Eris... Uh, briefly dated Zack, and I was just wondering if now that Eris is missing, if there was any change in their their dialogue. Okay, so we're gonna steal here again, um, on the off chance we can get another spider web. Part of the reason I didn't want to use it is because we only have one. And we're gonna switch. Man, Tifa does good damage. And she also is going to have a high crit rate because we buffed her buff. If you go the kind of nail bat work glove way, you really do get great physical damage. Like she's hitting for like 700 when the rest are hitting for 300. This is very high power. You know, 4,700 on her limit. Like Bahamut for 2,000 damage seemed like a lot. But, and, you know, Cloud is doing 1,200 with Flim Hazard with a pretty normal setup. Like most people aren't going to pick the Yoshiyuki or the nail bat, you know, he's got his kind of normal weapon to have at this point. Oh, I forgot, we're supposed to equip the new armlets. So, this is really good, but it would lose her a slot. And she doesn't have that many slots. I think we'll give... Now, the Gigas armlet has no materia growth. 
So actually, we'll give him the dragon armlet, and we'll leave the Gigas armlet alone. And that gives two new materia slots. Uh, all of Eris' stuff has been unequipped, which means that the stuff normally on red is going to be all on the bottom. Yeah. And so actually, let's switch over to red on the PHS so we can reload him up. Give him the stuff he had. I think basically in order: poison, revive, chocomog, death blow, chocolur, elemental. Bahamut's not elemental. That's kind of a waste. I've connected. Restore all. So really, we need a restore all, all, lightning. I don't know if we need any of these right now. Do we want to put any on Tifa? Tifa doesn't need manipulate. She can have death blow. That'll slightly up her damage output. All right. That seems all right to me. Oh no, we were gonna put the extra materia on Cloud because he has new slots. So he can grab, say, Chocobo Lure, and yeah, let's put Bahama on someone. All right. Now, where's our nearest transportation? Right here, wonderful. So where are we headed? Well, we did the Temple of the Ancients, and we know that Great Sephiroth, or just Sephiroth, is going to the Promised Land. Obviously, we do not know where the Promised Land is. But Eris did tell us, um, sorry, I'm lost. Can't go further that way. We gotta go around the other way. Eris did tell us that she's going to the sleeping forest. So we gotta find the sleeping forest now. Huh, I feel stuck. Obviously there's some way out of here, but I am currently directionally confused. I guess we gotta go check out these islands. See if they circle around something. Here they go. On the other side. Uh, let's remember about that fast forward button. Make this go much faster. What a lifesaver. So, yeah, we're going to be headed to follow where Eris went. Not too much to say here. But I always feel like I leave dead space, and that feels weird, like... I should be talking. There's no background music because I don't really enjoy the background music to these games, for the most part, with an exception for FF10, basically. Really for an exception for stuff with voice acting. Um, so that means I always feel like whenever I stop talking, like, oh no, it's just silent. Nothing's happening. Welcome to Bone Village, town for nature lovers. What do you want? Where's the City of the Ancients? City of the Ancients? Oh, you must mean the Forgotten City. Thanks, bro. Uh, do you have anything else to say? You know where Eris is. You talking about that girl? I warned her. She went into the sleeping forest anyway. All right. And you had one more question. What are you doing? We're excavating. It's like the land's telling a history of the planet. All right. What do you have to say for yourself? The lunar harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate it for you if you want us to. Let's buy something first. The Lunar Harp is an item needed to make the Sleeping Forest not on permanent repeat. Now, Diamond Bracelet, that looks pretty good. Rune Bracelet, double, experience for Materia, but not as many slots. And given that we're probably looking to upgrade Eris, who needs the slots, let's just get two of these. Uh, or sorry, Tifa. So let's head over to, uh, what did we just buy? Diamond Bangles. Hmm. No, I shouldn't have bought two. I really like her having the extra slots. At least Nanaki gets an extra slot. Let's go with... I want something that doesn't affect his stats that much. Let's go with Elemental. May as well level up another Elemental Materia. Let's get excavating. Uh, start digging. It's not just the Lunar Harp you're after. What else are you after? No, we're just after the Lunar Harp. Shows where you want to dig. 
So here we press a bunch of things, they set off some things, and then everyone is angled towards where the target is. Now, so we can press a button and you order a search here and someone goes to that spot. And as said, they will all at the end face where the treasure is and then we choose where to excavate. Now, as I recall, the lunar harp is somewhere over here, but I felt like putting some other people elsewhere just on the uh, off chance. And you wouldn't want to put someone right where the lunar harp is because then the direction they face could be kind of misleading because it could be in any of the four directions, right? If like the lunar harp is right under this guy, it'll be a little confusing which way he points. But if the lunar harp is like right here, it'll be pretty clear everyone's pointing to it. Um, so I'm gonna actually, let's put one here. Forget how many you get to put. I think it's five. And press square to set up the bomb, and they will all look. And looks right about where I'm standing, maybe a touch over here, somewhere like here. It's good. Let's dig. And hopefully we got the lunar heart. I'm going to fast forward. Oh yeah, okay. Very difficult mini game, obviously. There are a lot of little mini games in this game, like CPR kind of thing, defending um, Fort Condor. Hey, we recognize this this screen. Run to the light. Now here we'd be stuck in reheat if we didn't have the lunar harp, and we'd have to go back to get it. You may have seen the little red thing going. Um, much like how Eris and Sephiroth kept appearing in different places, the little red will keep appearing around the map and disappearing. Hey, I got it that time. Um, and it's, you know, summon materia. But it will keep appearing and reappearing, sort of like how Eris and Sephiroth were floating in from different angles and kept appearing and disappearing. So I think that's a nice little parallel here of the kind of, again, the weirdness of a place, right? We see this weirdness in the Sleeping Forest. We saw this weirdness in the cutscene as well. Uh, let's get the item first. Ooh, water ring. Now, we're going to equip that because that is very relevant to the coming boss. In fact, it would be completely reasonable. I think there's an enemy here you can steal more water rings from. So it would be very reasonable to um, keep keep stealing, right? Or keep uh, get all three. Um, I think I'll leave on the ribbon. New enemies here. Not particularly powerful. You know, we've been getting hit for harder. God, Tifa's damage is so good. Like, red is totally normal equipment and is doing 260, while and Cloud is doing a little over 300 and in general has the best stats in the game, and Tifa is hitting for about 700, which is, again, it's fun that you can, sadly, this these enemies put darkness on you, makes it harder to hit, so let's use ice. Except enemies here might, might absorb ice, if possible. Okay, they didn't. Yeah, she's so strong. But it's nice when you can get ahead of the curve in a game by equipping in an interesting way. So I really like the inclusion of the nail bat and the work glove, because it says, if you want to go physical, you can, and you can get rewarded for it. And specifically on either Tifa or Cloud, you have that option early. I don't think the others have weapons like that, or if they do, they're not accessible as quickly, that are way ahead of the curve on power. What's over here? Okay. Uh, that are way ahead of the curve on power, but terrible on materia slots. And it's just, I think gameplay systems are much better when there are trade-offs. All right, we have already fought all these items. On the other hand, we're going to steal something. Or we're going to run away. Uh, and the item we can steal here is dazers, which are relevant. Actually, we should grab one. 
which are relevant to if we want to do the super bosses at the end of the game. So uh, probably worth taking the time to snag one. This is not the enemy where we can steal it. Uh, we will run away. Oops. Uh, well, for you that took no time at all, but for me, <laughs> that was a bit of an ordeal. All right, we're back. What's happening? What's going on? I don't know. I think we're trying to steal a Dazers. Because if I decide to do the super bosses, I'll be glad I got one and won't have to come back to get it. But, uh, I don't know. Did we already get one? Maybe we already got one? I think we didn't. Was I talking about anything interesting? Probably not. Why can't we get encounters? That was weird. Didn't seem like the low encounter rate till then. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so we'll use Sled Fang to take out one of the back things, and we will start stealing. And we'll start missing attacks and steals. Uh, one nice thing about Limit Breaks is they do do full damage to stuff in the back row. If you kill stuff in the front row, you start doing full damage to stuff in the back row is a pretty traditional way of these games working, but this might take a while. I don't want to use too many spells in case, you know, because I've all attached. And I could specifically target them, but I like saving them. The, I wonder if there are people watching who are like, why doesn't he use Baltimore? And like, I don't know. I don't know. I like saving MP. For the big needed moments. And usually random encounters, like yeah, you could do them faster, and you don't need to. There we go. Okay. Let's heal and run. Well, now that there's only two things left, maybe we'll just finish the fight. Tifa does such good damage when she hits. All right. Man, I feel uh, out of place with where we were, but uh, we're trying, we're trying. I really like to, uh, when I'm going to do something like, no, I have, you know, that 30, 45, whatever minute period free, and that I'm not going to be interrupted. I'm someone who, like, when I have sort of, like, if there's a task of, like, move a bunch of items from place A to place B, I'm not great. Ooh, I think these might be what you can steal Aqua Wing rings from. Not sure. Uh, I'm not great at being, like, all cheerful and fun while doing it. If, like, like I like to, like, see the task in front of me. Man, Tifa, crazy damage. Okay. I like to see the task in front of me and just do that task and then, then focus on the next task. And so, like, I go to the, you know, supermarket. I want to just get all the items and be gone, right? Uh... And sometimes I can be, like, fun and enjoyable while doing tasks. But my general approach to tasks is have the time period where you can just focus on that and do that and try to be efficient about it. Another nice new location. Again, I like so many locations in this game. This specific, like, entrance into a path with three splitting off strikes me as just... A sort of iconic location, I don't really know how to say it, but just one that feels... There's a whole bunch of shots in this game, and it's partially because of the camera angles, because of the painted backgrounds, rather than having to do something that can rotate, they get all the angles right, they can just paint the kind of dramatic scene they want you to see. Um, but this game has a whole lot of scenes that like stick in my head. And sometimes when I haven't played a game in a while, I'll just start seeing scenes of it in my head and, like, kind of missing being there. Interesting that there's a red thing there, but we can't go. There's no exit we can reach at this point in time. And we got the Comet Materia, which I always thought felt kind of, like, um, not too distinct from, from the whole Meteor thing, though obviously it is very distinct. We'll put it on red. A lot of effects to his stats, but he's already got the lowest strength in the party. Uh, when um, I, I talked a little earlier about how there is a 
robot chicken boss that as a kid I really struggled with, um, and I had to level up a bunch to fight. One of the things I did while leveling up was I leveled up the Comet Materia to Comet 2 in the hopes that that would be powerful enough to help, and it did eventually help. But man, that boss I did not... I was not very good at this. I also, the first time I played FF8, which was the first FF I played, I did not understand the junctioning thing at all. I didn't do it. I got to Fujin Raijin. I couldn't beat them because I had never junctioned anything. I spent, you know, the whole game summoning. So I was very slow going through the game because obviously the summon animations on that game are not quick. Didn't know about boosting, you know, got boost but never, like, checked what it does so didn't know to press, like, the thing and then mash square to do it. Uh, you know, I just used the summons over and over and slowly beat enemies. And, like, my attacks were pretty terrible. Uh, I did get limit breaks, you know, understanding you could be low on life and use a lot of limits. I could do that part. But otherwise, I really didn't understand the game. And I think if that's the case, you kind of get to Fujin and Raijin, and then you get stuck. And so that's where I got stuck. And similarly, now FF7 doesn't have a system as, like, obtuse as as FF8s, right? It's harder to, like, go through the game and have no clue whatsoever what you're doing. But I was also, this is to say, I was bad at the in-game decisions, right? I was bad at, you know, like, choosing when healing is necessary and all that stuff. Aurora Armlet. I think we will equip this. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, we lose a Materia slot, but it has pretty fantastic slat stats. Let's see what he has in that spot. Oh, it's Comet. Um, well, we'll keep Comet, and we'll maybe get rid of Choco Mog. And, wait, what did I just do? I meant to, meant to not do there, I meant to do here. And now we can equip him, we won't drop our materia. What did we just get? Aurora. Drains cold? Now, I forget if cold includes water. We might be being pretty redundant here, because cold might be water and ice. So it might be if I split up the Aurora armlet, I probably should. What's on Cloud? Uh, Cloud is the two extra slots with the dragon armlet. All right, we'll, um, we'll drop the water ring, and we'll give Cloud the water ring and you the ribbon. And that way we'll have kind of two potential ways to drain cold, and we'll just have to keep Tifa up, because the next boss uses um, either water-based or cold attacks. I don't actually remember details. I think the next boss is weak to earth. I think a bunch of bosses are randomly, like, slightly worse to one element than another, and good to water, but I don't really remember. Um, most of what I remember is, is it weak to bio? Because things that are weak to bio, that's really helpful. And I don't think the coming boss is weak to bio. And we're just exploring. I like the uh, the seashell structures here. I think they're nice looking. Guard source. All right, we're going to put that on Tifa. Obviously, Tifa takes the most hits. Especially physical hits, because she's the one with cover on. And I think, I, I know I skipped a save point shortly ago, but I think there's another save point very soon. And we will be uh, grabbing that. Actually, let's go. I think it'll stop me if I try to go here. Hey, hey, Cloud. If we continue this way, we'll end up in the northern mountains. Eris isn't over there, right? Yeah, because Eris is right past the forest, and we're exploring right past the forest. So if we explore properly, we should find Eris. Elixir, nice. And nothing over here. I think I saw something yellow past that bed. Hey, look, there's a bed here. Should we take a break here? Uh, no. We are going to grab that yellow thing. Enemy skill, alright. Don't really need that. Uh, so I think we will rest here. 
I don't know, maybe I have to leave the room and come back to a set up that prompt. And I think that will set up the uh, the next part of the game. So I think we'll stop here. I realize there wasn't a save point, but uh, save states work perfectly well for our purposes. And uh, yeah, we'll stop here. And next time, events are coming. Events are coming. <laughs>